So, Kieran, we're 17 games into the season. Can you tell me your thoughts on how the start of this campaign has been for you? Yeah, um, obviously lots to cover and probably the um, the first opportunity I've got so far this season. Obviously, you've come in now, so it's important for the club to to communicate well with the with the supporters and let them know, you know, what's going on with the football club, what's going on behind the scenes. Um, last year, we were obviously very lucky, or the last couple of seasons, to, to work with uh, with JP. And um, we, we got to cover and communicate loads. Um, this season, um, you know, he, he's moved on. Um, so I think, firstly, to thank him for all his efforts that he's done um, uh, over the last couple of seasons. He's been fantastic and probably one of the main reasons that we've been able to, to push our scope out so far. But... Um, you know, people move on. The, the club's still looking to move forward, and hence why, you know, we brought you in um, to to now kick on the media side of things again. So, I think it's really important that um, that we try to to catch up and in and make the, the supporters aware as much as possible. Um, you know how the football team is going, but also to to communicate with them about things around the football club that, that have changed so um obviously pre-season was was a difficult time um i think we got notified that we had like four or five suspensions for multiple games going into the season so it meant that um we had to bolster the squad um to, to cover those people um we we lost um you know a couple of key figures early into the into the season in pre-season nathan davis went to Hungerford, Kane returned back to Froome, Sam Jepson took a step up to, to Poulton, um, Chris Allen moved on to take the manager's role at Devizes, there's loads of changes and um, <clears throat> after the success of last year, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, the Vaz success that we had and only missing out on promotion by 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 a single point, you know, it was a tough one to take but we always wanted to, to build on that and, and, and move forward and, and that's what we've done, you think that um, now 17 games into the season you know, I feel like I'm talking about pre-season seems like a lifetime ago but um, we started really really well coped with the absences um, with suspensions and injuries um, picking up some good results I think we found ourselves top after maybe eight or nine games which is the is is the perfect start but I think that so far this season I think Worcester City a huge huge club have just been that that shade above us um, as a whole football club not just on the pitch um, you know their resources that that they can that they can bring in um, the support they got you think that the game here that they they brought maybe like 300 fans which is unheard of for, for step five and it's fantastic to have the opportunity to play against them um, so we're, we're I think we're joint top now a um, couple of couple of games to, to to try and catch up on hopefully they can drop some points um but over over the course of the the, the 17 games um I've, I've been delighted you know we've got we've got nathan back now which is a huge boost for us all the suspensions have sort of kicked over we've retained the rest of the players um the new signings that that we brought in recently owen humphreys um and matt jones to to add on to to new signings that obviously the the supporters know about from, from pre-season um so i feel now we're our, our healthiest now so i think it's it's a nice time to sort of reflect of how difficult the first maybe two months of the season went and how well we cope with that as a football team as a management team as a football club but now sort of no excuses now um everyone's back everyone's fully fit and available no suspensions and um as a, as a football club, we're now looking into to, to the next stage of the season. And with the new players that have come in, does, do they reflect your vision of what you want the Caution Town team to look like? Yeah, that's a good question. I think where where we've came from, I think when I came in, like is a very direct approach um, and very pragmatic side that we've created and to transition into the, to the new base, the new footballing style that Caution is. I mean, we're still going to get branded with you know the, the the direct approach um but i think with the new signings of 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 owen and and um of, and jonah especially um it gives us a such a a, a more creative and different uh, dynamic to, to to the way we play um and i think that's probably been shown recently um in the last two or th in two or three two or three weeks especially um we had a little little rocky patch um when when we changed over personnel um the roman glass game that, that we lost one nil um then 
um, drew against Raiders and then obviously lost against Worcester. And, you know, people start to, to wonder, you know, should we take a step back and go back to more of the direct approach or should we stick with, you know, the beliefs of what we're going to move forward and, and be that more creative and, and footballing based side. And we've persisted with that. And I think we've come out the other side then with um, obviously three really big results. Um, Westfield's away, 3-0, uh, tough, Tuffley Rovers at home, 2-0. And then um, just recently, probably the biggest result in a long time was the 3-2 uh, victory away at Pershaw recently. So um, I think we've shown like really good character to, to get ourselves back on track. Obviously, we we still need Worcester City to, to, to drop points to stand any chance of you know winning a title across the across the remainder of the season. But you know, all we can do is keep the pressure on and, and, and hope that they do. So with the improvement on the pitch, of course, there's improvement taking place off the pitch. Does this reflect the ambition of the club yeah I think if if you look back to when it was just uh, me and Joe Martin here uh, when I first took over and it was sort of like me and him looking at each other like where are we going to take it from here and then obviously Joe Barker came in and everyone knows exactly what he's done since he's been in and now we've got a really really strong team of directors that are all in different areas of improving the football club um Behind the scenes pre-season, um, uh, the whole of the, the back room and the change rooms have, have been uh, upgraded for uh, the officials for to make sure that we've got um, adequate changing for female f- officials now as well, um, a full medical room um, and a physiotherapy area as well. So that's all been refurbished ra- uh, right around the back. Um, I think the new stand's just gone in recently, which looks amazing. Um, the, the new club shop's up and running, and I think there's obviously plans for for new floodlights and new perimeter around the football pitch that's going in in six weeks um and i think that it's probably a good time to mention that we won't be able to do anything like that with without the work of obviously volunteers the 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 directors that are pushing for this club to to go as high as it can but also some really really good support from our sponsors you think especially the ones that have stuck by us now for two or three seasons we wouldn't be able to 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 compete at this level without them so I think that's a, a really, really um, good marker just to say thanks to the continued support of the sponsors from previous years, the new ones that have come on board this year, and also um, the help of all local companies and businesses around Corsham. If you want to get involved and support a really good growing project, probably now's the best time to do it. Perfect. And just quickly going back to the Pershaw result, huge. Oh, yeah, massive result. Um, you think that they <coughs> had some really, really good results. Um, we're very lucky to, to, to have a good backroom staff that will allow us to to get opposition reports so um fran who has been on top of that for the whole season don't think he's missed um an op- uh, an opponent with with a report and we knew exactly what, what they were going to do and how they were going to play so we had an opportunity in training to work on that leading into it and um we, we caught them on the hop a little bit and two nil up after 15 to 20 minutes um they got back into the game just before half time to make it 2-1 then we went 3-1 then they got straight back in the game to make it 3-2 um difficult conditions um uh, with the with the wind and the rain but we stood firm and it was probably my most pleasing performance uh, of the season I'd go as far as saying because of the the personnel we had out um uh Swanee was unavailable uh Nath was carrying an injury uh Demo was away with work who's been absolutely magnificent for us so far um and I think the, um, Jonah was away as well. So, you know, we were, we were heavily reliant on boys that haven't been playing. So Gilbert come back in. Harrison Lee made his second start of the season. He struggle struggled with injuries and fitness and, and, and illnesses. He came in and scored. So that was his first goal for the club. Um, it, it, it's been one of those results where, you, you know, you could look back at the end of the season and say that was the one that kept you in the title race or that was the one that, that got you in the playoffs to 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 cement that so yeah really really big result um and i think now is a time to have a little break from 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 league action now and then look forward to to the fa vas and that's obviously a big competition for caution not previously and other than last year's you know we we haven't been as a football club for years and years and years caution haven't done very well in the vas but last year was an exception and uh, you know a massive roller coaster of emotions throughout the whole year i think we went into it the first qualifying round. We haven't even had to to, tick a, to kick a ball to get into the second round um, this year because of how well we done last season. So, um, speaking about Fran again, he's gone down to to Hamble to watch tonight to make sure that we you know we've got a full opposition report on on them ready for um, the second round, which is this Saturday. I know the boys are all looking forward to it. Yeah, and with the FA bars being so 
you know, current in the mind, given last season's performance. How are the boys looking ahead to this campaign? I think it's a completely different mindset from last year. Like, I, I, I addressed the boys last year. I said, like, in terms of your football, as in non-league, FA Vaz is one for the players, and I will always stand by that. You know, it's it, as a player, I was very lucky to to play in later rounds of the Vaz as well, quarterfinals and semi-finals. Um, they're the ones you you know you talk about when when you retire. So, I think that you always give them that that freedom, and that's what worked so well last year. There was no expectation, no pressure for us to do well, and we just kept going with going with the snowball effect. You know, we 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 have won a lot of penalty shootouts, obviously, um, but. You know, it, it galvanised the, the the club. It put it on the map, and it was the FA Vaz run allowed us to sign players like James Resby um, and Kane Simpson at the time. With, without that Vaz run, we would have never been anywhere near you know that scope getting those sort of players. And you know, you need to think how important Res is for the football club now. Without us getting to to you know those later rounds of the Vaz, you know, you, you just you just don't get that opportunity to work with them. And that's something that. I'll always be grateful for um, no matter what happens this year. It, it will be near enough impossible to, to to replicate what we've done last year to be you know a penalty kick away from going to Wembley. Um, but I was so proud of uh, of the whole club last season. Um, proud of myself, the management team, the players. You know we put in everything to to compete on on all levels last year with limited resources. And, and this year, you know, we've been backed heavily by the football club to, you know, to go and try and get promotion um, and to try and, you know, a, a achieve a really good run again in the VAS. But comes that, a little bit of pressure, a little bit, you know, expectation. Um, and, and we put that on ourselves as well. So we'll be looking to go into to, to Saturday, you know, full of confidence on our recent form. Um, you know, fully stocked, as I always like to say, no, no one's away, no one's injured. So... I think there'll be no excuses going into that. We'll feel fully prepped. The boys are out there; they're training now. We'll have a, a, a good social and go for a meal after after training tonight. And um, I think that's really important to, uh, to to get you set up for, for for that huge game on Saturday. Ahead of the Vars game, do you have a message to the supporters? Yeah, if they if they keep turning out like they have been, you know, since since the Vars run sort of put us on the map a bit, um, we we probably gained I don't know 150 to 200 supporters since that Vaz run if we can if we can keep those or add more to it for for the remainder of the season and, and, and keep that excitement around the football club that, that's still fresh in the minds um, fa fantastic uh, wherever we go we're now really well supported um, I'd say probably one of the best away followings at, at step five you know where, wherever wherever we've gone in the league and cup recently we've, we've taken loads and loads of supporters I know you probably say that thinking like 50 60 supporters isn't a lot but for our level of football to take 50 caution fans away it is massive and, and I think that's a hugely hugely beneficial to the players to know that many people are coming so you know if you're sitting on the fence I know the bus is sold out but if you, if you can get down there um, come down to, to, to Hamble get behind the boys and hopefully um, we can put on a show for you Perfect well thank you for your time Kieran we'll no see problem. you on Saturday